years in a row, 2011 and 2012, spring brought extraordinarily dry weather to large parts of Central and Western Europe. Many countries suffered from drought and poor harvests or had to fight forest fires. Often after such natural disasters, there are two key questions the Deutsche Wetterdienst is asked. How does one know that it actually was too dry? And is it possible to forecast such drought periods? To be able to answer these questions, many measurements are needed to be taken about precipitation. Such data from all over the world are collected and processed by the Global Precipitation Climatology Center, GPCC, which is operated by the Deutsche Wetterdienst. The resulting analyses are published on the Internet free of charge. The GPCC holds the most comprehensive archive of monthly precipitation data in the world. The database contains the measurements from over 90,000 rain gauges located on all continents. By gauges, we mean standardized recipients for totaling precipitation. The totals are then registered either once or several times a day. Another source of precipitation data are the meteorological satellites. For calculating its global precipitation analysis and trends, the GPCC relies on both point-related data recorded at surface stations and area-covering satellite observations. In addition to actual observations, the GPCC also considers historical records of rain and precipitation levels which it receives from its various partners and data providers. Based on the information from all these sources, the GPCC compiles analysis, for example, on the global distribution of land surface precipitation and precipitation anomalies since 1901. When experts speak of precipitation anomalies, they mean deviations from a long-term average over 30 years at least. These can be used, for example, to assess whether a month was drier or wetter than normal. Five days after the end of a month at the latest, the GPCC can provide first assessments about how much precipitation has fallen worldwide or in individual regions. Our experts at the Deutsche Wetterdienst refer to this first analysis as the first guess. Since the beginning of 2013, the first guess has also been used to produce what is known as the Drought Index. The Drought Index enables the Deutsche Wetterdienst to indirectly forecast drought events. How does this work? If during a certain month a region has received too little rain, and if the lack of rain has already persisted for several months, this hints at a drought risk. Information of this kind is most valuable for relief organizations in Africa which take care of the people in areas stricken by drought. The first guess is followed by a detailed analysis of the data. To this end, all data are verified and, if necessary, corrected manually by GPCC staff members. This is a very time-consuming task. Therefore, the results only become available two months later. But exploitation of the data will not be complete until the historical records have been included as well at a later stage. Acquisition and use of historical precipitation data are a great challenge for the GPCC. Once verified and reprocessed, the historical records, which the National Meteorological Services from all over the world provide to the GPCC, are processed, quality assured and made machine readable. The entire process can easily take several years. The more historical observations are made available, the better the GPCC's global precipitation analysis will be. Those who benefit from this are the climate researchers, for example, who can gain a better understanding of precipitation variability and trends and are also better able to assess whether certain regions will see more or less rain in the future. If you wish to have a look at the GPCC's data, you can do so on the Internet. Via a special visualization software system, the extensive analyses are displayed in a graphically attractive and easily comprehensible way. But who are the people interested in the manifold data collected over many decades and from all over the world? Mostly they are scientists who study the trends and variability of climate change 
as precipitation, just like temperature, is one of the most important parameters for describing the climate and climate change. With its immense archive of data, the GPCC contributes greatly to the World Climate Research Programme WCRP, and to the global commitment of observing the changing climate. This is important for all of us, as the more we know about climate change, the better able we are to prepare and adapt. If you wish to find out more about the Global Precipitation Climatology Center at the Deutsche Wetterdienst, visit us on the internet at dwd.de slash wzn. Deutsche Wetterdienst for both weather and climate.